can't get you out of my mind, no Said I think about you all of the time, yeah Been imagining you all in my bed, whoa Hey, cause you been running around in my head, yeah Hey, I can't get you out of my mind, no Said I think about you YouTube what is good? It's your boy Sami Man. I'm back with another video. Now, I'm bringing you guys a video I never ever do. Not only am I playing threes, I'm playing stage threes. When do I ever upload gameplay on threes court, let alone in stage? Now, in this video, I'm going to be proving to you why a rebound and wing is the best big man build in the game. It's better than a glass lock, a paint piece. It's better than any center or power forward build. Now, off the rip, they get lucky or whatever, you know what I'm saying? They get a lucky, you know what I'm saying? They get a lucky stop. He ripped them, end up being their ball. You know, sh shit happens, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But you guys are going to see how easy it is and how better it is to play defense with a small four big man compared to a center band big man. I'm talking about the speed, the vertical, how easy it is to, to trap the defense. It's just... A rebound and wing small forward big man is just way better in general than a center big man. It has a higher shooting, higher vertical, higher speed, higher lateral quickness. With this, with similar rebounding and like you know what I'm saying, the inside uh, stuff is similar. So, example one. Look how easy it is for me to get a stop. So he runs in. I fully commit. Go chase down artist's best defensive badge in the game. I'm gonna make a video on that badge soon. That badge right there is golly. So I fully committed. But by the time he he could realize I fully committed, he already went up. Now I sold right there. I gave up a three. I feel like centers wouldn't have made that play. They're just too slow. So in return, I decided to hit one myself. I greened a 30% contested three in the center's mouth. Now, alright, so after, after, you know what I'm saying, after that, the score is tied, I said, all right, I'm going to have to get another stop and make up for what I do. Watch what I do here. Since I fully commit the first time, I baited him, faked fully committed, boom, passingly still. See how fast a small forward big man can react? I don't think a center would be able to, to be able to react like that. In fact, the center is so slow, the guard knows what the center wants to do, and then the center end up getting dotted every time for the three. I seen it with my own eyes, and I used to play stage last year. If you guys watched me last year, you guys know I used to no life stage. That's all I used to play. If you guys watched me last year, I was seeing centers literally just get baked. I mean, they try to help, they try to play bait. Also, look what happens here. So, I don't now. I'm gonna be honest. If I was that point guard and I realized that there was a six nine big man helping out the corner, or you know what I'm saying beating hedging out the corner i will not go to that side no more as you can see i made the guard quit actually i got him out of there but I'm, I'm not gonna lie the past two to three games i made at least one person quit now i'm not saying i'm i'm not saying i'm the highest iq i'm not saying i'm the best stage player it's just a simple fact that having a small for a rebound and wing over you know a paint beast or, or a glass can and lockdown it is way more effective and good on the court now as you can see i'm rocking a custom shirt with the lebron I was saying, I was saying, a little, little respect to LeBron. He's a goat. So, <laughs> back to the topic. You guys might ask, how could a, how could a rebound a wing six nine be better than the center? The center is taller. You know what I'm saying has more size. Now you're right about that. In fact, glass gunner, uh, not glass gunner, Centers power first take up more size on the court. They have longer arms. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're more. They're just, they're just big, right? I feel like that's all the center has or power forward has over a small four big man, their size. But a big man, small four can do what a center and a power forward can do, but 10 times better. They can snag, they sh they get better shooting ratings, better finishing ratings. Well, it, it also depends on the build. Some builds get <clears throat> more finishing ratings than the other, than other you know? But rebounding wing definitely get the same rebounding badges and defensive badges than any center in the game. I've seen it. Rebounding wings get up to 20 defensive badges. So we end that game. I'm going to show you gameplay on the twos. Now, on the threes court, when my teammate is ISO in, I go corner because it's more people on the court. They need more space. But there's only four people on the court on twos. So I can sit wing and give them the whole left side. Now, think about this. Now, in this gameplay, I'm going to get to center. So, I'm going to prove to you guys why 
a rebounding wing is better than the glass slide right here. This guy is probably what? 6'11 glass lock, 7 foot shooting glass lock. I know he's a shooting one because he was popping. So, first shot, I, sh I missed. I'm not going to lie. This wasn't my best shooting game wise. But this game wasn't isn't about shooting. So, look at this. Since I'm a rebounding wing, I'm able to run and get an on ball still just like that. Now, if that was a center, I don't think a center have the high enough on ball still stats like you know what i'm saying perimeter defensive stats to make to make that play i just made and to be able to get back on like you know what i mean i don't think a center will be able to run that fast and get and get towards the ball correct me if i'm wrong but this is why a lot of people this year made a small for a big man like you know laker fan that's a, probably the only youtuber i know besides me that made a small for a big man look at me pulling green light and Laker fan actually be spending some facts as well. I feel like a small for a big man is better than a center big man in 2K20. Now, 2K19, 2K18, I probably wouldn't say that for 18. I probably wouldn't say that for 18, but for 2K17, a 6'10 small for a pure lockdown definitely was. If you guys ever played against one in 17, it was kind of rare, but they they still was around. Them them 6'10 lockdowns in 17 was godlike at the center spot. Also, 19. I could run my 6 10 lock at the center. I did it on the twos. I was a demon. You guys used to watch my streams last year. You guys know what I used to do on my 6 10 lock. So, me from experience, I know what small force could do. As you can see, I made him quit. That's tough, bro. I, I don't blame him. We out here making dudes quit. He went over something contested. Now, this game, a lot of fluke stuff was happening. They was getting the ball back. We was getting the ball back. Look at my defense. So, look how fast I'm able to react with a center small force. You know what I mean? So, I ended up getting the dunk. This is why I think a small for a big man is better. The reaction time, the quickness, the speed, the vertical, the lateral, is just way better. Now, you guys could probably make a, well, so my, my small for is 6'9", right? My rebounding wing is 6'9". You guys want to know the build video? I have a video on my build. You, you guys probably could make a 6'9 center, but I don't think it will perform the same way. So, you guys always ask me if my rebounding wing can finish lobs. I'm going to show you right here what happens when I try to finish a lob. Well, this lob was kind of contested, but you guys always ask me, can yours finish lobs? Just pay attention here. So I got the same problem as y'all. I try to make it a little bit funny for y'all, but I have the same problem with some of y'all. Sometimes I miss lobs. Sometimes I don't. I guess it all depends on who you're going against and if they got Timidator or not. He has Hall of Fame Playmaker Takeover. There's no way I'm missing a wide open three off of that. That's going to be a green light. So... The question is, could you run a small forward rebounding wing at the center spot and still be able to get wins over a 7-3 paint beast or over 7-foot glass killing lockdowns? The answer is clearly yes. It's not about the player, it's about the person on the player. Some centers can completely dominate a rebounding wing because they're probably better at you know, center than them. And some people might completely dominate a center with a rebounding wing because they're better, you know what I'm saying, at the center spot with a rebounding wing than they are at center. But any good rebounder wing, in my opinion, would take on any good, you know, center at the center spot with their rebounding wing. It just, it's just like, all right, picture this. So I'm trying to think. All right, so let's think about this. So imagine. So listen, Draymond Green is what, like six five, six six. He was playing at the center spot at one point for the Warriors. Am I right? Yeah, he was playing for the center spot sometimes in rotation for the Warriors. And he was going up against like centers that's like 6'10", 6'11", and the Warriors are still able to win championships. You mean to tell me somebody that's the same height as Kobe, as James Harden, at the center spot is dominated? Now, I'm not comparing him to uh, comparing Dream My Green to them skill-wise. I'm talking about size-wise. James Harden, what, 6'5", Kobe 6'6", six, six. James Harden is basically the same height as them, and he's able to play the center spot and is working. So imagine somebody that's 6'9", like, like a Dennis Rodman, like a um, Charles Barkley, doing everything a center can do, just with less size, more speed, more vertical, better defense, better shooting. It's just it's just godlike. Now, if you guys know what I mean, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think I made a good point or a good argument about rebounding wing big man, small forwards versus center big man? Do you guys agree with me? Do you guys disagree with me? Is there anything I missed out on that I... I could have said let me know in the comment section it's been your boy stumpy if you guys want to see more stage two or zero threes let me know i'm out y'all peace
pillow talking, man, nigga, that snitch.